Oh. Well, have a good time in Paris, honey. I will, and I'll never forget you. With 2,000 a month alimony and a cash settlement of half a million, I don't see how you could. Valley, old dear, hmm? this should teach you a lesson. Don't come home to your next wife with rouge on your collar and blonde hairs on your coat. I still insist I was playing with an Airedale, not a blonde. <laughs> Maxie, do try and keep Raleigh out of trouble. I've been trying to for years, but there are some things a lawyer has no control over. Uh, I'll drop you all the lines from Paris. Uh, speaking of dropping lines, you won't forget those good old alimony checks, will you, Maxie? Hmm. You're third on the mailing list of the ex Mrs. Vincent. Uh -huh. <laughs> well, I'll be seeing you. Abyssinia? <laughs> well, what's that? Yes, that's that, and it washes me up with the ladies. I'm through. You're through. That's what I said. I'm through with women. Yes, but how are you going to keep women from being through with you? What? Why, I... Oh, I come I on. <laughs> Nevertheless, the next dame, the very next dame that tries to throw the hooks into me, oh, I'm going to... Oh, Mr. Gonna Vincent, uh, won't you buy a flower for the little orphan? Uh, <laughs> well, what would a little orphan do with a little flower? Uh, here, hold that, boy. <laughs> Oh, isn't that pretty, huh? <laughs> Raleigh, huh? you don't have to buy the whole orphanage. Here, dear, there. Mr. Vincent is very big-hearted. So I've read the papers. Are you by any chance one of the little orphans? My mother's alive, but I have no daddy. Yeah. She has no daddy. <laughs> what are you doing? Bye. The poor sap, absolutely no self-control. Well, the poor kid had no daddy. She would have had another five minutes. Raleigh, you're nothing but a national nosebag for hungry women. I suppose you think that poor little kid was after my money too, huh? She got some of it, didn't she? Well, the trouble was when she started looking at me with those big, beautiful eyes and giving me these, them, and those, <laughs> I just started slipping. You did. And why? Because you're always standing on the banana peel of romance. What you need is a nurse. I had a nurse. She was a blonde. <laughs> oh, shut up. I'm serious. Raleigh, well, I hate to see a pal of mine pick clean just because he has no willpower. Who has no willpower? You have no willpower. No willpower, eh? Yes, and no willpower either. All right. From now on for a year, I'll give you $1,000 for every time you catch me kissing a girl. Oh, don't tempt me. Oh, all right. Then I'll give the $1,000 to the orphan's home. A thousand dollars for every kiss? Yes, and I'll give you ten thousand dollars if you catch me becoming engaged to a girl. How about marriage? Marriage? A <laughs> hundred thousand dollars if I get married. Will you put that in writing? Why, oh, certainly. Now, I know you need a garden. That's an idea. I'll appoint you. <laughs> me? Yeah. How about my law practice? Oh, let your mother, father, sister, somebody practice. You've had enough. I'll give you a hundred thousand dollars this year to keep me and women apart. It's a bet. Just sign this agreement. Well, yes, certainly. <laughs> no willpower. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brooks, I'm back home again. A single man. A game, sir? Yes, but Mr. Maxwell's going to keep me single. Mm. If possible, sir. Oh, brother. <laughs> Where's that? In there, sir. Ah! Get, get me out of here. I'm in the wrong house. No, no, no. You're in the right house, all right. But you have company. And b b b what comedy? Oh, 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 what's this all about? Huh? Oh, maybe this cablegram will explain it. It came for you just before we went into court. I'm sorry I forgot to give it to you. Oh, well, it's from my uncle in Turkey. Turkey? Yes, he went over there three years ago and became a naturalized Turk. He died last month. I told you about it. Oh, yes. Well, what does it say in the cable there? In accordance with your uncle's last request, have sent his harem to you. Hope they arrive safe and sound. <laughs> well, what am I going to do with them? Well, there's only one thing you can do. Keep them. Keep them. Well, I've never been able to keep a wife. Not even my own. Oh, 
they're not bad. Quite nice looking little turkeys. Oh, cheer up. Don't look so sad. Me got no daddy. <laughs> the orphans are in again. Well, what's your name? Me, Consuela. Consuela? Well, I'm my uncle's nephew. I'm his heir. Oh, you the heir he gave us. Yes, I'm the heir. I wonder if she meant anything by that. Well, you're a cute little bug. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, well, Uncle certainly knew how to fix them. I again bid you welcome, thrice welcome. Oh, oh me like you, funny man. Oh, hey, let me in on some of this, will you? Well, nothing doing. I'm her funny man. Mm. Just a moment. Well, I almost forgot our little contract. What? Two kisses already. That's two thousand for the orphans. But, 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 Max, I hope all your children are orphans. You make me tired. Funny man like me, too? <laughs> get out that notebook. Here's where you get busy. Mm. Mm. Oh, hi. Right, right. You come with me. And it'll be the man who pays, and pays, and pays, and pays. <laughs> it's an old Turkish custom. Well, how many? What? You know what I mean. How many kisses at a thousand bucks per kiss? <laughs> three? Oh, yeah? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Well, have a heart, will you? Him's bad man. Oh, him's terrible bad man. Every time he catches me kissing a girl, I have to pay a thousand dollars to the orphan. <laughs> you like children, huh? Well, well, well I... <laughs> <laughs> nice man like children. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 girls, oh, girls, oh. Oh, 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 Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, Nicks! Oh, Nicks, Nicks! They ganged me! I couldn't help myself! Just no willpower. Oh, now, wait a minute. <laughs> well, you signed the contract, didn't you? And think of the poor orphans. Poor? Why, they're getting richer every minute. Can you tell us funny story now, please? Oh, oh yeah! <laughs> I, I don't feel like a funny story. Well, you sure look like one. Oh. Please. <laughs> well, once there were three little bears. Ah, oh, baloney. Tell us one about the two old maids that owned the drugstore. Oh, dear. Did you hear that? Oh. Here you go, Mr. Maxwell. Thank you. Mr. Maxwell speaking. Oh, I thought so. Thanks. Uh, uh. Well, there's another one of your bubbles busted. Well, what do you mean? A manager of your nightclub just phoned and said if business didn't pick up, he'd have to close it. Oh, dear, that's too bad. I thought that little blonde baby was going to pull him in. No, you're the only one she pulled in. Who is this blonde baby? Just a little gold digger that boop boop dooped him into building the nightclub for her. She did not boop boop doop me. I never saw anybody boop boop doop like she boop boop doop you. What is this boop boop doop? Oh, just a lot of boop boop doop Not on your life. She was the best boop boop doop in this town. What is that? Oh, you know. You got a boop boop doop I never cared for boop boop doop But we've got a boop boop doop That's my weakness now. So they got to be taken care of, huh? Certainly have. Yeah, but like clubs going broke? It is broke. I thought if I could help it. Behold, the new review of the Harem Scarab Nightclub. Okay, girls? Boop boop doop
mind, don't forget something novel. Hey, back to the side show, Curly. Stop! Get hot! Going to Connie's dressing room, I hope. Oh, <laughs> don't be silly. Congratulations, my dear. You were wonderful. So we are good for American jazz, eh? Good. You're perfect. Come sit down and talk to Papa. Ah, oh, you want a kiss, eh? I want a kiss. I want a whole handful of them. <laughs> Say, you know, I dreamed about you last night. Yeah? Yes. So. Oh. You did come here after all. Oh, who, who, me? How many times must I tell you to stay away from this girl? Oh, go home and destroy yourself, will you? Come on, come on, get out of here. Oh, quit shoving. Well, then get out. I'm only earning my salary. You understand, don't you, honey? Honey? Yes, you are a nice man. You stay away from that rat. Me like you. And me like you, too. Oh, no, my best pal double-crossing me, Daddy. Remember our contract about women? But, but, but Connie's different. I found that out. Oh, I get it. You want her for yourself, you dirty... No, no, get right here. Oh, I... do it, do it, you get out now. No, I, I'll get out, but, but I'll return. <laughs> Sit down. Say, listen, you stay away from that girl, you hear? Who's going to make it? I am. Wally, do you realize this girl is up to cost you $100,000? She's worth it. Say, listen, you got me to sign that agreement so you could get her yourself. I'm not so dumb. Now, here. Here. Here's your check for a year's salary. You're fired. Thanks, Wally. Many thanks. Where are you going? Why, to get Connie and marry her. We have enough money now, thanks to you. Well, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Oh. Oh. Huh? oh, lady, is he burning? <laughs> <laughs> Take your hands and arms off that girl. Hey, why don't you go home and destroy yourself? Come on, get out of here. Quit shoving. Well, get out. No! Oh, you're going to get tough about it, are you? Well. She's going to marry me. Oh, well, she'll be a widow before she's a bride. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Why do you fight? I'm fighting for you. Let's go. Oh, that's coming. I'm fighting for you. Oh. <laughs> now you're going to be my bride, baby. No. No. Oh. Oh. Darling. Come on, baby, I know a good minister. Then what happened? Well, we were having a swell fight when suddenly he hit me with a vase and all the lights went out. Quiet. Here they come now. Girl, don't let him know I'm here. Hey, 
yes, I, I do is... Oh, oh, sir! Oh, 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 I'm sorry I had to hit you, Mac, the old boy. Oh, that's all right, Raleigh. <laughs> well, now to kiss the bride. Not my bride. Oh, it's every man's privilege to kiss the bride. Yeah. Isn't it, dear? Must I do it again? Huh? Surely, dear, you can't object to Max kissing his own cousin. What? You remember my little cousin, Contuello? Why, we all used to play together as kids. You! It, it, it's a frame. You framed me. Certainly. And here's your check. I don't want your money. Oh, why, I, I, I still don't understand, Connie. It was really time some smart girl took you in hand, darling. Oh, by the way, huh? meet the young ladies in the cast of the new Junior League show. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not such a sap after all. Look at the prize I got. Boo-boo-boo-doo! boo 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 bo